guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup bag. And if you guys haven't noticed, I really love this makeup bag. This is just like a free makeup bag from Clinique, but I really like it because it's soft. My dog does not want to sit down behind me, obviously, because he's busy smelling all of my new pillows. Okay, he got comfy. So basically, I am going away on vacation to Paris and London. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys what makeup I'm bringing with me because the makeup that I normally bring with me on vacation tends to differ a little bit from what I wear on an everyday basis because I like to carry a little bit less when I'm on vacation. I like to carry some more special products than just like my normal everyday makeup. And yeah, the one thing that I don't have in here right now is actually my foundation because I'm actually going to self-tan myself tonight and so I don't know what foundation color is going to match me. Um, so I'll be picking that tomorrow morning when I actually leave. But I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys what I'm bringing other than foundation. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out of this bag is my Skinnanadia Setting Spray. I, can't, I always keep this in my... Urban Decay All Nighter Spray because I like the spritzer top on this better. Plus, this is a smaller one, so there's less liquid in here. This is technically a four ounce bottle, so I have to pack this in my carry on. If I put it in my, I mean, I have to put it in my like checked bag because if I take this on my carry on, they will confiscate this, even though there's like clearly not all the liquid in there. In here, I also have some little shampoo and conditioner packets. On one trip to the salon that I used to go to, they actually gave me a ton of sample conditioner and um, shampoos, and they're like some really high-end, like, shampoo. Like, my shampoo has chestnut milk in it. So I just like to take these with me because they are like one-time use little packets, and they're really great for travel because hotels normally have pretty bad shampoos and conditioners, so I figured by picking up these, since they were giving me it for free, I might as well use them, and they work normally pretty well whenever I bring them around with me. Inside the bag, I have another little bag. This is just a Chanel bag that I got when I bought something. And in here, I'm just carrying a couple of little um, bobby pins, and then I'm also carrying a pencil sharpener for my eyeliners. Next, out of my magical makeup bag, I have my Inglot palette. So this is just my palette of five shadows. And I like bringing this because it's not as big as the Naked palette, it's a lot smaller. And it has basically five colors that I can create any kind of look with. If I want something with a little more color, I have my pink and purple eyeshadow. And then if I want something that's very neutral, then I have my brown uh, crease shade. I have a dark brown and I have a golden -y color. Next, I like to bring a kind of luxurious product whenever I'm traveling someplace for an extended period. So I always love to bring my Dior Amber Diamond Highlighting Powder. So I have that right here and it comes with a little carrying case because it is a Dior makeup product. So I always take that with me when I'm carrying the highlighter in general because I feel like it's nicer. And yeah, so I'm bringing that with me so that way I can have a really glammed up night out look. Next, I have packed my liquid eyeliner. This is a Stila Sale Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. You guys did not think that I was going to travel without this. But I actually think that this guy is starting to die on me. So I'm bringing a refill with me as well. Normally, I would just bring like one instead of having to bring a backup. But I don't want to open up the new one and leave the old one here. So I'm just going to take it with me and throw this one out once I get there. For mascara, I am bringing my L'Oreal Butterfly Lashes Mascara in the waterproof formula this way. I just have a dependable mascara that I can wear all the time and that no matter what I'm doing or what kind of weather I face, I am covered. I am only bringing two lip glosses with me to pack light and these are both the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lip Glosses because you guys know I'm in love with these and I have the color Fatal Apple and I have the color Pink Pop. So these are definitely two of my favorite lip glosses. So for lipsticks, I only brought three to keep it simple. So the first one that I have is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Cherry on Top, which is just a bright pink color. And then I have the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Balm in Karen, Car Karen Coral, 
which is, yeah, Karen Coral, which is a nice kind of neutral shade that I can wear around during the day. And then for nights where I want a fancier lipstick, I am bringing my Elizabeth Arden lipstick. Um, it's the Karen Mod Ultra Lipstick in Amethyst. So yeah, this is just a very neutral color. I actually wore this on my prom day. So that's why I'm bringing this guy. For bronzer, I'm just bringing my Hoola bronzer because I wanted something that would be matte and that I could really wear in a multiple variety of ways. So I wanted something that wasn't shimmery and that was pretty compact. This is actually the most compact makeup item I think that I could possibly bring with me. This is a sample size of NARS Orgasm. And I actually was really glad that I found this in my collection because I've never really used this sample size before, but I didn't want to bring a whole bronzer, uh, a whole blush palette because in case of it breaks, I don't want to lose all my blushes. But I also didn't like the single shades that I had until I saw this one, so I thought this would be the most wearable and versatile shade um, for my collection. And I liked how small it is. Because I'm traveling with my family, there are definitely mornings where I'm the last one up and that means that I have the least amount of time to get ready. So I like to bring a couple of cream eyeshadows just in case if I'm not going for a full makeup look that day. So I'm bringing the Color Tattoo by Eye Studio Maybelline Bad to the Bronze Cream Eyeshadow, which is just a really neutral bronzy shade. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. But because this is not the most long-lasting thing for me, I'm also bringing the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in the shade 16, which is like a pink color. Hopefully you guys can see that. And yeah, this one just stays on literally for 24 hours. Like, you could wear this probably for days and it'll stay on. But yeah, that's why I'm bringing this. I'm running out of room on my lap for these makeup products. Next, I had to bring my favorite eyeshadow primer of all time. So I have the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this will just keep my eyeshadow from creasing. I have a couple of different concealers here. Let me pull them all out. I have four concealers. First, I have a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. This just helps cancel out my dark circles, especially since I'll probably be jet lagged like crazy. Then I have more jet lagging fighting highlighting um, or concealing. This is the Dream Let Me Touch Highlighting Concealer in the shade Ivory by Maybelline. And then I have, in case if I break out from the plain air, I have my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in the shade 5, which is just a really good skin match for me. And then I have my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in Medium Custard, just for any other concealing that I have to do on a normal basis. For my eyebrows, I'm trying to only bring a couple of products here. I actually forgot my clear brow gel, which is why this is always a good thing, because now I know what products I forgot to pack. So I need to pack my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara that works as my uh, brow gel. But then I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in Dark Brown, because this is just something that's easy to wear every single day. And then I brought my, my Benefit High Brow, because the... Uh, Five eyeshadows from Inglot do not actually have a highlighting shade, so this is a really nice everyday highlight for me for underneath my brows and to really define my eyebrows in general. So I have this one and it's in the light shade. And then I kept it simple and only brought three eyeliners with me because I tend not to wear crazy eyeshadows on vacation. So I have my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Hustle, which is just a nice brown color. And then I have my Scandalized by Rema London pencil in nude or 005 which is straight, just great for brightening my eyes especially if I'm going for a day with no makeup while I'm away and then I wanted to just bring a small pencil that was black because I didn't want to bring a full one so I brought my almost used up zero which is an Urban Decay 24-7 glide on eye pencil. Also in my bag I just have my eye cream because I'm not bringing this on the plane with me which is the Origins Ginseng eye cream so this will just help depuff those jet lagged eyes and then I just brought a small sample size powder so that way if I get shiny during the day I can easily carry this around with me and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder again a little set that I got a while ago and this is like the perfect time to use it. So as you guys can see I definitely don't have a lot of stuff in this makeup bag but I do have a full face of makeup to cover me throughout my trip. So I hope that you guys are liking my 50 Days of Summer series and you're liking this special travel week. 
So if you guys are looking for any great travel makeup products, these are definitely my favorites because they all last really long. They'll allow me to wear my makeup all day and in any kind of situation. So yeah, that is what I have. I hope that you guys liked it. And make sure to check out my other videos from this week. I will link them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.